intervals so as you know within a lot of the training we do here we program um, built-in rest to portions of the workout for the day um, now a common thing that us as coaches will see is people and it's very noticeable from our point of view so just so people know that is uh, is not taking the required amount of rest so for example if you do a workout or a round of something and we say rest one-to-one, -one, however long the round takes you is the amount of time you need to rest. So if it takes you two and a half minutes, that's how much rest you get, right? Often people will deny themselves that full rest for a number of reasons. Um, why it's not good to do is that it, you will not get the desired effect that we want you to get from the workout it will actually become harder than it needs to be because you're resting less than we want you to and that it takes a few for, to do a round. People do it for a number of reasons. They do it because they don't want to be perceived by others as not being at a certain level for any reason. Um, they don't want to come last in the workout, you know, whatever that means, even though everyone's working at different times anyway. Um, and they want to try and do it, like I said, to keep up with other people, people who are either above or below their, their level of fitness. And quite frankly, it's ridiculous. Um, you, by taking the adequate rest, will get from the workout what we want you to get out of it. No one's going to think any different of you, regardless of where you finish. Um, and with a, a sounding kind of blunt with it, people don't actually care at the end of the day about where other people finish. They really just care about how they're doing. So don't worry about what other people think of you. We've covered that already. Um, and uh, take all your rest. Everyone loves rest. Take it there if it's given to you. Okay, so that's our rant for this week.